We have this Alliance Speed Queen, model AWN432, SP111, TW01, <coughs> washing machine. I bought this part five th 735P3. So the first couple of minutes will be a part diagram, and then I'll show you where the brakes are on the actual machine. So once you understand where the brake goes, or the brakes go, it's a lot easier. If you look to the left side of that picture, the thing with the three prongs on it, which is actually welded metal, it's attached. They are attached to that. They're attached to the underside of that, and they fit into the groove of the round pulley. So here we have, there it is on the machine. This is a view from underneath. So what you're looking at with the screws are two out of the three of the brakes. Here you can see from another angle, way underneath, right by the belt. Okay, just in the top of the picture with the screws coming out of it, those are two out of the three of the brakes. Okay, so they're attached to the metal on the underside of the metal. So get under there, look where the pulley is, and you'll find this thing with the uh, helix, and it's right above that. 516th nut driver. Take off the bottom. One. Where did I drop already? It's in my hand, so nothing. Two. Take this off. Now lift this up and pull it towards you. And then down. All right. So I guess what I'm going to do is take off, take the springs all off. All right. Maybe I can spin this around in here. All right, so let's see. I'm going to have to take these off. There's going to be water in here. So this is going to be a mess. Maybe that's what I can do. Maybe I could spin this whole thing around in there. I'll take the springs off. And maybe this whole thing can spin like that. There we go. All right, so that's, that's, that's going to be the thing. So let me take a little hook. So you need to take off the six springs. And you can do that any way you want. I have a tool that has a T-handle, and the other end has a hook on it. It's made for motorcycle springs, but it's actually very good for doing this. Either way, they're under a lot of tension, so you have to make sure you're, you have something that's pretty sturdy when you loop it under there and give it a, a good pull to disengage them. Again, six of them, two on the left, two on the right, and two in the back. Make sure you get them all. So next, I'm going to disconnect the fill tube so I can then spin the entire tub around. Next, I'm disconnecting the pump. There are two different uh, two hoses attached, a front and a back one. Pulling them both out, and there's quite a bit of water in there. So, water. so you need a larger tub than I have here. I raised it up a little bit, and I put a jack stand under it just to make it a little bit easier to access those brakes. Now you see I'm using an open-ended wrench. I didn't realize till the very end, but it's way easier if you use a, um, way, like a ratchet wrench. Either a ratchet wrench or I have an automatic ratchet wrench. Silicone lubricant. We'll get a couple of bolts. I want to apply a silicone lubricant. A little bit, it's so not too much. Okay. 
like that. I'm gonna see if I can put this back. Let's see if the camera's not, this is not gonna work. Virtually impossible to put this camera in here. All right, so I'm gonna put these in underneath. We'll see if we can tighten them in. Put it into the thing there, into the slot. Tighten this up. be a fast job. Okay, tighten this up. Make sure the side's tight. That's one side, that's the first one. Like I said, accessibility is a hard thing here. Okay. Let's see if I could turn this now. Here's the next one. You might be able to see this, but next one is here and here. Let's see. Accessibility is the problem here, baby. Accessibility. Can't even see what's going on here. There we go. 
can't get a drill driver in here. You just gotta rely on your fingers and feeling it. drop this in there. Come on, go baby, go. All right, there we go. Let's see, Let's see if we can tighten this one first. Here I repositioned the tub and spun it around and for this last one I finally got smart. What an idiot, look how much easier that is. Quite a bit easier. Should have done that before. Oh well. All right, good. We don't want to cross thread that. So. Finish it up with the with the uh, this. Get on there. It's just a matter of putting the springs back in, start with the back, then putting the pump, attached pump back on, and then attach the water fill tubing back in, close it up, and you're done. Home stretch. I didn't realize at the time, but you also have to disconnect the water level uh, tubing, which is right there. It came apart. It came off when I turned the tub around. So you should really take it off first, and then you could put it right back. It just connects right on. Just testing it out here to see how it works with the new brakes installed. So thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below and I'll try to get back to all of them.